Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of an interview. Today, we are looking at a red ink from Zaba, Zaba, Rouge d'Orient. Thanks go out to Gary and Kathy Scott for providing the sample for this review. Today's pen will be using the Noodler's Conrad in blue swirl with a 14 karat gold <coughs> Yovo semi-flex nib. Best combination so far. Next to the Fountain Pen Revolution Ultra Flex nib. All right. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Here's a. Let's take a look at the ink comparison panel, and I'm going to need to brighten this up just a little bit. This is a nice, deep, rich red color. It does calligraphy really well. Here is our ink swatch and water resistance test shows that I might not want to use this on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash away. <coughs> here is our ink splotch and here is our toilet paper chromatography. I see a red here and then right along the edge there is an orange. I didn't expect the orange. Okay, let's do some paper review, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <coughs> Lightweight traveler's notebook paper, no feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, normal ghosting. Moleskin 70 GSM. Feather like a chicken, bled through the page. I would not use this paper with fountain pen ink. 52 GSM to my river pen. Tomoe River paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Ayush 100 GSM heavyweight paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. 80 GSM Rhodia dot pad. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. The Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. No feathering, no bleeding, just the tiniest hint of ghosting. Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <coughs> the Nanami 7 Cs 68 GSM. Tomoe River paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. The Nanami, I'm sorry, Nemocene 80 GSM dot grid. No feathering. Just the tiniest bit of ghosting. Oxford optic paper. No feathering. Little bit of ghosting. <coughs> the Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. <coughs> Oi! Feather like a chicken bled through the page. <coughs> I would not use this fountain I would not use this paper with fountain pen ink. Excuse me for just one second.
Okay. This is Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is the Lamy booklet, 90 GSM. No feathering, little bit of ghosting. Exceed 100 GSM, <clears throat> heavyweight paper from walmart.com. It does look like it's trying to spread into the page. And it did ghost through. Unison Composition Book from Target.com for 50 cents. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. True Red Composition Book from Staples.com. Oy. It does look like it's trying to spread into the page, and it did bleed through. I would not use this paper with fountain pen ink. CVS caliber notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Speaking of CVS caliber notebook paper, I'm, I need to go get some more. This is Oxford notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Made wide rolled notebook paper. Feather like a chicken, bled right through the page. I would not use this paper with fountain pen ink. Five star notebook paper. Feather like a chicken, bled through the page. I would not use this paper with fountain pen ink. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. Feather like a chicken. Ghosted just a little bit through the page. Acabe cross section pad. No feathering. Little bit of ghosting now. JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNeilBooks.com. No feathering. A little bit of ghosting, though. Original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. Don't notice my fat finger swipe. No feathering. A little bit of ghosting, though. Okay, let's do a comparison panel. This is definitely a red. You might even find some pinks that are kind of leaning this color. I'm going to take a quick look. Mm. Fullest. Oops, let me. This is. Jeaba Rouge de Orient next to <coughs> Color vs. Felicity Glistening. Reddish, reddish, reddish one in the pink department. Let's see. Let's let's look at some reds. All right, this is Robert Oster Astro Keys a Rot, Diamine Red Robin, Diatomentus Document Red, Ackerman Sherlock and Vanyanstein, KWZ Sparkling Cranberry, Colorverse Felicity Glistening, Uli Red. Oops. Sailor Ivory, Waterman Audacious Red, Montaverde Valentine Red, Ferris Wheel Press Algonquin Maple, 
Monteverdi Love Red, Stipula Florentine Red, Tasha Aka Red, Diamond Flamingo Pink, Diamond Coral, Diamond Firestorm, Krishna Primary Red, Mont Blanc Medina Red, Pilot Mixable Red, Colorverse Alpha Scorpy, Parker Quink Red, Hero Red Number 201, Malta Verde Strawberry Shortcake, Diamond Vermilion, Noodlers, Rattlers, Red Eel, these are very similar, <coughs> Twisby Crimson, KWZ Thieves Red, these are also very similar, KWZ Red Number 1, these could be twins, Diamond Matador, these could also be distant twins. Pure Pens Cotswolds, I'm oh, sorry, Codwalder. KWZ Candy Red, these are very similar. Diatomentus Document Dark Red. Maltaverde Passion Burgundy. Sailor Gentle Grenade. Robin Oster Aster Keys Rot. Diatramentus Oriental Red, Vinta Inks Cicatuna, Bakersfield Food Color Red, Malta Verde Cherry Danish, Stipula Dark Red, Diamond Oxblood, Colorverse Hubble Zoom, Colorverse Dark Energy, Stipula Dark Red, Malta Verde Blueberry Muffin, Diamond Robert, Diamond Deep Dark Red, Timing Raspberry Rose, Noodlers Black Swan and English Roses, Sailor Manyo Umi, Ferris Wheel Press Royal Rhubarb, Caveco Ruby Red, <coughs> Monarchic Cardona, KWZ Brown Pink, KWZ Purple Dream. Why are these even in here? These don't go in here. <laughs> these are. These two are purple. All right. What did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a red ink? <clears throat> this is a really nice red ink. It does calligraphy really well. Without reading my journal too carefully, you can see how the the flex writing looks really nice. It's not too... I can't really tell the color on here. There, how's that? That's better. You can see it has just the ever so slightest of uh, shading going on, which is interesting. Okay. Well, that is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this, Please share this video friends. with your friends. Follow me on, Follow social, me on social media. Like, comment, like, comment, comment subscribe, subscribe and the ring the little bell. bell. Make sure, Make it's, sure set it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So, Take care until then. Okay, love you. Bye. Have a great day.